Okay, some changes I've got on this. Nothing else here. Insulator, insulator. Static bags that you get electronic devices in. Look, static bags. Cut them open. These are single. This is a double layer. This is a single layer. Seen a guy on YouTube, they make their own capacitors. Well, I figured, well, I got some options here. Give it a try. Really increased the spark gap on this thing. Not really what I wanted, but it did. I also have the output of the coil up to almost 1.1 uh, yeah, no, up to one milliwatt per square centimeter. Up from its previous 0.3. It's up to almost one milliwatt. And I'm guessing 100 megahertz. Start it up. That's the, uh, it's resting right on the stainless steel. See, it's a uh, it's a hot hot little spark there. But the thing is, when it's getting raised, my output also goes down. Output is my thingy. One milliwatt. One milliwatt. I tried putting a single sheet, a single, and a single, but it fell off too far. So I tried, I got my single in here, I doubled it here, I left this one uh, steel to steel. And that seems to be the best combination right now. So what I'm going to... Oh, the uh, output. Now this thing... I don't know how accurate it's going to be. But it's reading... It's about the same thing. It's reading minus 18 amps, well, about 19 amps on a 20 amp scale. I kind of doubt it, but those may be peaks. The, uh, that's going to the spark gap. The one going to the ground or to the bottom of the things are reading 2.2 amps. Input to the transformer reading point point eight volts on the one leg. It's reading no, that's point eight amps. The other leg is reading one point one amp. So we got a point eight amp, right? Point eight amp. 0 0.7, 0 0.8 amps, and a 1.0 amp. Going in voltage-wise, I don't know how accurate this is either, but it's reading 2,000 volts. Well, close to it. Close to 2,000 volts. I don't know how it's coming up with that. And the other leg is a uh, 30 70 volts input can't read it's too uh, too low on the voltage 
same way here. Holders are just too low. Holders are too low to measure going in. But it's picking up close to 2,000 volts off the spark, spark gap up there. The uh, FETs, the standard ones, they're warm. Transformers warm. These are warm. So the whole board's working, but it's not working overtime. It's still got a green light and it's not cutting off. Turning it off. What I had to do, I managed to get it to fit. This is a 4MF. Uh, 600 volt AC, 3, 400 volt DC uh, capacitor. That's some scribblings I put on there for another project. But yeah, this is a 600 volt AC, 4 MF microfarad, 4 microfarad cap. Big son of a gun. 600 volt. I can't remember what it was. 600 volt AC, I think. 350, 400 DC, or the other way around. Either way, it works. It got warm today. That's about it. Just got a little warm, lukewarm. So that was the other modification I had to do. Keep this thing. This is my last one. So I'm going to try to let it keep this thing alive. If I don't push it too hard, and I think I can increase that one milliwatt output, I got the frequency kind of cranked down right now. So this is part one. I'll be back with some scope readings. Okay, I got this hooked up directly to the tube there. I guess it's about as good as hooking it to the uh, dome. Come on, don't start on me. Come on, machine. Come on, come on. So, I'm going to switch this thing on. I hope you can read the scope. So, I'm going to switch this thing on. Let's hope nothing blows. On. Getting 207. It's got a different sound. Well, I guess it don't. It? No, still kicking out close to one milliwatt per square centimeter. Uh, I'm getting 340 volts down here. 290 to 330. Top it says two, yeah, 211 kilohertz. Well, that's off the rod. Got some pretty sharp peaks there. The FM radio. It's gone. Yeah, 97 FM. So there's a 320 volt peaks. I'm guessing about 150 megahertz, 200. Uh, we can scale this down. Maybe we can get a picture here of what the uh, wave looks like. Yeah, it's about a sign. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like a sine wave. Uh, and that's something. That's 0.1 milliseconds. That's uh, that's down to 10 kilohertz. I know I've got more than well. I know I, well, what I'm putting in there is six to ten. 
kilohertz. So we'll take it back up here. Yeah, what I wanted else to show. Okay, well that's off the tubes. That's pretty darn near what's off the uh, domes too. What I wanted to show here the uh, this thing. It's now. It's darn near about a meter. Meter away from the thing. This whole. Oh, she goes up. Yeah, there's about a meter radius. I've got a uh, very delicate voltmeter over there. It's on uh, micro volts right now. It's not picking up nothing off this thing. I don't know why. So yeah, the uh, we got it back up. To do fall off you may have found, oh I got my load on there okay Take my load off no oh, that didn't help okay uh, off well, it was. It was up there. You seen it. I seen it. my plastic burnt through. Okay, I'm going to have to crank the frequency down on this. 